To hide your course content based on completion of a previous assignment, you use what's called adaptive release. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide your course content based on completion of a no-show assignment. Our no-show assignment is in the Start Here content area, and it's called the no-show test. We don't want students to be able to see anything in the Lessons content area until they either get a grade on this test or submit the test, whichever option you choose. What we have to do is place an adaptive release on the content that we want to hide, which is in the Lessons area. We click Lessons, and we place an adaptive release on every folder, learning module, or object in this content area. If you place an adaptive release on a folder or learning module, the adaptive release applies to everything in that folder or learning module. In other words, the adaptive release will hide the entire folder and everything in it. However, if you have learning objects that are not in a folder or a learning module, like these learning objects, you have to place a separate adaptive release on those if you want them hidden until the no-show assignment is complete. To apply the adaptive release, click the arrow to the right of the object, choose Adaptive Release, and choose your criteria. In this video, we're going to discuss only the grade criteria. But as you can see, you can select to hide this content item based on dates, memberships, or review status. To hide course content until the no-show assignment is submitted or graded, however, you use this grade criteria. First, select the object from the Grade Center that will release this content. Click the arrow to the right of Select a Grade Center column and choose the no-show assignment. In this example, it's the no-show test. In other words, you're telling Blackboard, release this content based on the no-show test. If you want the content released as soon as the student submits the no-show test, then you leave this default selected. User has at least one attempt for this item. However, if you want the content released based on a grade that you give for this test or based on a self-grading grade, you would choose either score or percent and then choose one of these options in this contextual menu. In this video, we're going to release the content as soon as the user submits the no-show test. So we leave select condition at its default. User has at least one attempt for this item. Scroll down and click Submit. And you can see that the Week 1 folder now has an adaptive release enabled. You do this for each folder, learning module, or independent content item in your content area if you want the content hidden. If you don't want something hidden, then you don't put the adaptive release on it. We'll hide this learning module by clicking the arrow to the right, adaptive release, scroll down to grade, choose the grade center column that will release this content, which is the no-show test, and leave the default at user has at least one attempt, which again means as soon as the student submits this test, this content will be released. And then we click Submit. And you can see that the Week 2 Learning Module now has an adaptive release enabled. To check your adaptive release to make sure it's set up correctly or to edit the adaptive release, you click the arrow to the right of the content item, choose Adaptive Release Advanced, this is the adaptive release. It's called Rule 1. To edit it or look at it, you click the arrow to the right of Rule 1 and you click Edit Criteria. Your criteria type is shown. It's Grade. And to edit that criteria type, you click the arrow to the right of Grade, choose Edit, 
and you can now edit the gray criteria. You can't change the criteria in the screen, you can only edit the criteria. After you edit your criteria, you click Submit, or if you're satisfied with it, you click Cancel. Click OK, OK again, and return to Lessons. If you want to change that criteria from grade to another criteria, you would have to delete the adaptive release and recreate it. You would click the arrow next to the content item, choose Adaptive Release Advanced, check the Adaptive Release here, and click Delete. Return to Lessons and you continue putting an adaptive release on each folder, learning module, and content item that you want hidden based on the completion or the grading of the no-show assignment. Now let's look at how adaptive release works for students. Students should not be able to see the Week 1 folder or the Week 2 learning module because you have placed an adaptive release on them that hides them until the student completes the no-show test. Let's go into Student Preview. Click Lessons. And the student cannot see that folder or learning module. As the student, let's go to Start here and take the no-show test. We'll save and submit this test as the student. Click OK. OK. And now let's go back to lessons as the student. And the week one folder and week two learning module have been released because the student submitted the no-show test.